Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 3 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Today let's learn how we can add or subtract lengths. So the first thing we'll see addition of lengths. So to add lengths what you have to do? You have to arrange the given measurement in appropriate columns of units and then add separately. Let's make it more clear with examples. Add 3 meter 32 centimeter and 4 meter 7 centimeter. See the given measurements? We have measurements in terms of meters as well as centimeters. So the first step is to arrange the given measurements in correct columns of units. Which are the units here? Here the units are meter and centimeter. Which is the bigger unit? Meter is the bigger unit and centimeter is the smallest unit here. So we have to arrange the given measurement in proper columns of unit and then we can add the measurements. Let's see how we can do that. First you have to write an M for representing the meters and a CM for representing the centimeters. Then you draw a grid. Then look at the measurements given. You have to write this 3 in the meter column and this 32 in the centimeter column. Then the second measurement. Write this 4 in the meter column and this 7 in the centimeter column. Then you have to add the given measurements. Now, where do we start adding? We have to start adding the centimeter column first. So here we have 2 plus 7, here it's 9, then 3. So it is 39 centimeters and here we have 3 plus 4 meters. So it is 7 meters. So what is the total length? See? 3 meter 32 centimeter plus 4 meter 7 centimeter is equal to 7 meter 39 centimeter. It's very easy. Just make sure you are writing the measurements in proper columns of units. Now, let's see how we can subtract lengths. The procedure is the same. Make sure you are arranging the given measurements in correct columns of units and then you have to subtract them separately. Let's see one example. Subtract 39 meter 54 centimeter from 81 meter 89 centimeter. So which is the bigger measurement here? 81 meter 89 centimeter. So from this we have to subtract this. So what is the first step? Arrange them in proper columns of units. So we are drawing a grid. Now 81 you have to write in the meter column. 89 you have to write in the centimeter column then this 39 you have to write in the meter column 54 in the centimeter column put the minus symbol now you have to subtract the given measurements starting from the centimeter column now let's do the subtraction 9 minus 4 what is it it is 5 8 minus 5 it is 3 and now this is 35 centimeters and here the, in the meter column you have 1 minus 9 which we cannot do so we are borrowing so this becomes 7 this becomes 11 now 11 minus 9 it is 2 7 minus 3 it is 4 now this is 42 meters so what is the difference 81 meter 89 centimeter minus 39 meter 54 centimeter is equal to 42 meter 35 centimeter just like addition, it's a very simple calculation. Now we'll see some word problems. The length of one part of a tree branch is 2 meter 25 centimeter and that of the other part is 5 meter 35 centimeter. Now what is the total length of the branch? So you are given two measurements. The length of the branch is divided into two parts and you are given the length of each part. How do you find the total length? You have to add the given length. So let's see the steps. The length of the first part is equal to 2 meter 25 centimeter. Now the length of the second part is equal to 5 meter 35 centimeter. Now the total length equal to length of first length of the first part plus the length of the second part. Let's substitute the measurements and that is equal to 2 meter 25 centimeter plus 5 meter 35 centimeter. 
Now let's add, let's first let's place the given measurement in proper columns of units. So the meters go in the meter column, the centimeters go in the centimeter column. Now let's add them separately starting from the centimeter column and moving left. So 5 plus 5, it is 10, a carry over 1 here, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 1, 6, so it is 60 centimeters here. Now 2 plus 5, yeah, 7 meters here. So what is the total length of the branch? The total length of the branch is equal to 7 meter, 60 centimeter. I hope you are clear with this. Let's see one more word problem. The length of two ropes are 28 meter, 45 centimeter and 17 meter, 29 centimeter respectively. Which rope is longer and by how much? So you are given two measurements there. The length of two ropes. One is 28 meter, 45 centimeter whereas the other one is 17 meter, 29 centimeter. So which one do you think is the longer one? Is it the 28 something rock or is it the 17 meter something rock? Obviously the first rock with the length 28 meter 45 centimeter is the longer rock and by how much it is longer? How do we can find that? We can find that by finding the difference between the lengths. We have to subtract the two lengths. Let's see the steps. Length of the first drop is equal to 28 meter 45 centimeter as given in the question. Now the length of the second drop is equal to 17 meter 29 centimeter. Now the difference between the lengths is equal to length of the first drop minus length of the second drop. So substituting the given values we get that is equal to 28 meter 45 centimeter minus 17 meter 29 centimeter. So let's put the given measurements in proper columns of units first. So we have done that here. Now let's start subtracting the numbers. 5 minus 9 we cannot do. So we are borrowing 1 from the next place. So here it becomes 3 and here it becomes 15. Now in the centimeter column we have 15 once minus 9 once which gives us 6 here. Now 3 minus 2 it is 1. So here it is 16 centimeter. Now the next column meters 8 minus 7 it is 1, 2 minus 1 it is 1. So here it is 11 meter 16 centimeter. So the first drop is longer by 11 meter 16 centimeter than the second drop. I hope this is clear to you. Now you have to go through the topic addition and subtraction of length in page number 120 through 122. And you have to complete the exercise, exercise 9.3 and also in page number 122 you can see a life skill question and go through that question also and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. I hope all the topics we learned today are clear to you. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.